What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Another episode of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus featuring me, Wolves at My Door, featuring you, the viewer, the beautiful person watching this right now in the morning or in the afternoon or at night. One of those. Uh, next up is the comment of the day. Tracy Morgan, big fan, by the way. Uh, what's your favorite thing to design as a graphic designer? Uh, T-shirts, sprites, channel, logos, etc. Uh, Tracy, thank you very much. Appreciate the question. And um, what is my favorite thing to design as a graphic designer? First of all, Eden, hard mode. We have a 12 win streak. We're trying to get to a 13 win streak. Here we go. Let's see our start. Uh, oh, sack dagger. We, we <laughs> and book of the dead. <laughs> hey. Um, What's my favorite thing to design as a graphic designer? Well, I definitely excel in logos and branding. That's like my, that's that's my bread and butter, I would think. Um, you did mention sprites there, which I thought was interesting because I have gotten into uh, pixel art over the past like maybe year or two. I've gotten into pixel art. I've done all my, ch uh, my channel emotes and uh, done some other pixel art stuff like work on a mobile game that is pixel art that i've created and designed so i've done a lot of pixel art in the past couple years and i've really really grown to love doing pixel art like a lot like i really am a big fan of it uh i have a ton of fun doing it but i, I think my bread and butter is logos and branding I, I think that's where i excel that's where most of my commission work is uh i've done northern lions branding on his twitch channel i've done kyr speedy's branding uh, I worked with B-double-O, obviously, for a while on his branding. Uh, I've done Dan Geesling's branding. Um, and uh, I've even done KYR Speedy's crew branding. So those are kind of the, the, the clients I've had over the last, like, year or so in graphic design. And it's, it's my bread and butter, which is the logos and the branding side of graphic design. But... Uh, I, I pretty much can do whatever kind of graphic design, photo manipulation, obviously t-shirt designs, which is kind of logos and branding in my brain. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't pigeonhole myself into one thing, but if I had to say what my best is, it would be the logo and branding stuff just cause I've been doing it that, that, that one the longest probably. Okay. Interesting start here. Uh, I laughed when we when I saw Sack Dagger because a lot of people are gonna say, "Well, OP RNG, you know, great start, amazing start." Yes, but although no, as well. Yes, but although no, because I think if you've watched me for long enough, you know when I have a Sack Dagger in my hand, just like when I have a mom's knife in my hand, or even a ball of bandage or a cube of meat sometimes. Uh, I do some very stupid things like my my tears don't feel like they're enough so I have to run in there with the sack dagger and it ends up getting me hit and hit after hit and then all of a sudden I'm in danger of dying. Jay, use the book of the dead. You're not wrong. So yeah, sack dagger albeit one of the best items in the game. Uh, it makes me play aggressive and sometimes costs me some damage we don't know what this is we're gonna take it it's cancer might have been the best item i could have picked up right now might have been the best item i could have picked up to be completely real with you guys got a little spy a little bony there would have liked to use the book of the dead here i think the more enemies on a room the better the book of the dead payout i think Oh, we can use it here. Wow, dude. It's all coming up freaking Millhouse. Whoa, what, what a start, dude. And we got some soul hearts from Cancer. And then also from the Tinted Rock. We also have a ton of protection from the, the Book of the Dead already. With all these bone fragments. We could use a bomb to get seven cents. That seems like a good idea to me. Also, potentially get a Seeker Room. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, and then we can go into the secret room for free. Or the curse room for free. Looking for magic mush or mini mush here. Let's 
Let's see what kind of cards we got. It looks like we have a lover's card. We have one coin and a hangman card. Wow. Oh, it's IV bag. That's unfortunate. That could have been amazing if it was blood bag, but that's okay. Uh, we are going to... I was going to say use the lovers. Well, we'll use the lovers, pick it up anyway. And then we'll take the hangman so we have flight on one of these rooms. Hematemesis, which is fine. Uh, we will use a bomb here. I'm, I'm really pushing for magic mush or mini mush or or liberty cat, liberty cat, liberty bibbity bibberdy bibberdy, liberty 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 liberty. All right, this guy should be no problemo for us. The problem, that's not really a problem, but we have uh, these bone fragments, which is like right on our sack dagger. So if we go in there to attack with sack dagger, our bone fragments are going to get hit and probably disappear. We got mom's lipstick, which isn't great. We're going to take both of these. I don't know what they are, but we're going to take both of them. It's brimstone. No, dude, no. God, no, please, no. <laughs> uh, well... You know, it's not a bad thing. We all know brimstone's not a bad thing, but I don't, I, you know, it, uh, you know, it, I said it last run. It's a little bit more. It can be a little bit boring, laborious, boring. You know, it's kind of like an instant GG, no more challenge type thing. If it was cursed, let's just put it this way: if Curse of the Blind wasn't on this floor. I uh, probably would not have picked up Brimstone. But hey, I mean, it's probably going to be another win, barring something unseen, you know, which is a good thing. Hey, good thing we have a Hangman card. Hangman card for... It's not great. I'm actually going to hold on to the counterfeit penny. Ooh, Brimstone, not so good against the champion. We might as well. Might as well play it. We're going to be able to clear the room pretty quickly here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Book of the Dead is such a good item as well. Sack dagger, like I said, with the with the bones though, it's kind of rendered useless unless I want to get rid of a lot of the bones surrounding me, which I don't normally want to do, because <laughs> they're a great line of protection. But hey, it's probably gonna be a fast one. Big horn, little horn, and big horn, fighting them all. The stupid hot bombs, contact damage. We could speed this up a lot by getting Sack Dagger in there, but what just happened there? It looks like we got tossed around. It's going to be an HP up. We'll take the Moldy Bread. We'll take the Moldy Bread. There could be a Seeker Room here. We could check it. Oh, <laughs> did not expect that. It's not necessarily great. You know, we got six cents in a chest. Just another two cents. Tra you know, I'll say it to the day I die. Trap doors need to be better. The, the, the balance of how excited you get when you see one to what actually lies beneath it is so imbalanced. I don't know why. It just is. Just because they're so rare and you get excited when you see one, but then you get down there and you're like, oh... Unless it's like a black market, then it's exciting, but. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Need to be careful. Just because our brim is not that powerful and we only have a one speed, it's not great. Let's check out what our item room is. Oh, it's Cricket's head, baby. Why was it? We're getting so lucky with Cricket's head recently. I feel like we've gotten it like three out of the last four or five episodes. It's not an item you normally see this much, I don't think. 
I mean, it's one of the best items in the game. Straight up. We keep getting batteries as well, which I don't think we have anything in our in our build right now that gives us batteries, but the batteries are coming at some good times here. I'll buy this. I'll buy this. And we'll do this. Uh, starter deck's cool. Oh, we have a tears up hill. Starter deck's not cool anymore. <laughs> well. Sure. We haven't gotten a secret room, so we might as well... Oh, I should have went into the curse room first. The lovers. Yeah, that was dumb. I should have went into the curse room and then done the moon card out, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, we got two soul hearts out of that. Some friendly spiders. So it was technically worth it. With or without the moon card play. As far as the super seeker room goes, we'll never know because I don't have any bombs. Should we have fought the uh, boss right away? Probably not. We should probably should have blown up a beggar at least to raise our chances of a deal with the devil a little bit because that was a swing and a miss. Yeah, Cricket's Head's definitely helped out this Brimstone. I mean, you might be saying, AJ, Brimstone's Brimstone, but I'm saying, you know, Brimstone without that much damage is not super pleasant. Just put it that way. Oh, yeah. We were tearing through them now. Before, we weren't even able to kill a champion in a full uh, full gust of wind, you know what I mean? Uh, well, a bomb would grant us 17 cents, so I definitely want to come back there if I get a bomb. Okay, what kind of cards we got? We got a Fool and a Stars card. We will definitely take the Stars, and I will get out of here. It's going to be Aries. I don't really love ramming speed, but we'll just take it. Get them, Skellies. Okay, we get Steam Sale. A key. Do we have a bomb? We do have a bomb. Okay, we should probably get a chariot. We should probably go to that room if we could find it again. I mean, we got Curse of the Law, so... As you can imagine, we're pretty turned around uh, right about now. This guy's gonna blow up. We kept our distance just enough. And the problem is we teleported, so now I'm even more lost. Speaking of teleported, we have a full card here, and I think we want to use it. I think the chariot would still ruin our bone protection. I'm very scared to run into an enemy with the sack dagger or with chariot, you know, what have you, and lose all our bone protection, because I, I really like it, you know? It makes us pretty much invincible to tears coming at us, which is pretty important. So with that being said, we'll take the full card, because you never know when you're going to need a teleport card. This is probably the way. Yeah, okay. So we can get a bomb or use a bomb here for 17 cents. Which seems very much worth it. If I put it right there, it should work. Indeed. The money didn't really move, which is good. Okay. We can also use the devil card on a boss fight if we want to. I think the boss fight should be up here, maybe somewhere i don't know unless i full explored over here obviously we did that yeah okay here we go shoot them when the mushroom's face is showing they take way more damage that way i saw somebody comment saying you know jay would you ever uh, make an isaac series teaching people how to play isaac 
I mean, I hope this series does help. I mean, I've heard many, many occurrences of people saying that they bought the game and that they feel like they're ahead of the curve because they've watched so much uh, Isaac gameplay from me and other people. So I hope that it's a little bit of a little bit informative. I know I'm not the best at explaining what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, but I, I think I do in a commentary sense, at least a little bit. But no, I don't. I don't think a tutorial type thing would would really do much because a lot of people don't like hearing this but like the first hundred hours or so it's not gonna be pleasant guys like you know you're gonna die like the game is designed to kill you it literally is designed to kill you uh and a lot of people don't like failing and failing and failing and failing and especially when they watch people play and the people that are playing are just winning and winning and winning and winning but like it's just something you got to get over because the second you get over it and just realize it's all learning experience when you play isaac and that eventually you will get to the point where you want to be if you just commit some time to it uh i think i think you're going to be way better off um than expecting to play well and looking for tutorials or looking for tips uh after like the first you know 25 hours in the game or something because this game is not meant to be mastered in that little of time i dude i i, I have 1300 hours in this game on the steam version alone not counting the xbox version the xbox arcade version um not counting i had isaac on my psp and i used to play it when i traveled i have isaac on my switch um so not counting any of those hours not counting the amount of hours i've watched of isaac uh, which helps so you know it's it's it, and it, I, what I was getting at is I still die and I still die and there's times where I almost die uh, there's a lot of times where I almost die it's not like I'm completely destroying the game every time I play so yeah it's um as far as tips go I think a really good beginner tip other than just get good forehead is <clears throat> it just focus on dodging because a lot a lot of the times you die this is going to sound like the dumbest sentence of all time but a lot of the times you die is because you take avoidable damage you take damage when you really could have avoided it by dodging i know that sounds stupid because you're like yeah that's the whole entire point of the game jay thanks for the tip but my tip would be when you're fighting look at your own player right now my eyes are on my own player so you enter the room look at your own player don't look at the enemies i'm still looking at my own player didn't i didn't i don't even know what enemies spawned there i just saw there was enemies so i shot in the general vicinity just pay attention to dodge and just shoot blindly like that's the best tip i can give for someone that's new people too way too much like go into a room and look at the enemies and try to aim at them and and hit the perfect shot it's not about the perfect shot it's about staying alive and eventually killing the room that's what it's about so just focus on your own player focus on dodging and just shoot blindly you know just see the enemy out of your peripheral vision it's the best tip to give newer players because event you know eventually it gets to the point where it's 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 kind of a feel thing but if i ever if i'm ever like at half a heart or a heart and a half I always am looking at my own player because I care about dodging more than I care about clearing the room, you know? And when you're new, you take a lot of stupid damage that you could have avoided if you were just dodging or looking at your character. It's a, it's a hard mindset to get into, but I think it, it helped me a lot. I got Seraphim. <clears throat> well... <sighs> Might as well donate here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We got up to 400. That's pretty dang good, considering when we kind of returned to this Isaac series where I wanted to do Eden Streaks, my donation machine, I think, was at zero. Legitimately at zero. So we're back up to 400, which is really good. Because the donation machine is going to be there when you need it. As long as you've put money in it, it's going to be useful.
do 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 i mean this is a well this is a one run guys <laughs> uh the, look at all the bones around us we're not gonna get hit and if we get hit we're not gonna get damaged for very much um we have uh, the the right amount of items here we, we got brimstone that's pretty much all you need cricket's head we got sack dagger if we ever want to deal some damage close up yeah it's uh it's pretty dang good it's pretty dang good interesting i don't think we're gonna be able to kill that fly the whole entire fight Now we can. Maybe. Weird. Uh, an HP up. You know what? That's fine. We'll take it. I don't think... We don't really have anything. Do we even want it? I don't even know if we want it. Let's see what the trinket is. Golden Horseshoe. Sure. 15% to get a double item room on the next floor. I don't think I ever knew what that... That's what Golden Horseshoe did. But... Man, you find out a lot about trinkets when you have that external item thing on the top left. Shops will now appear in the womb. I don't know if that excites me that much to pick it up, but... I mean, it is Necro too, so after this is going to be the womb, so maybe we want to pick that up. But let's see if we can find uh, two item rooms. You know, we had a 15% chance to spawn two item rooms, so you never know. Might as well take the hero font in case we take some damage. We can uh, spawn two soul hearts. Ooh. But so much of this game, going back to that a little bit, it's just it's just playing. You just like, be okay with dying. The game's designed to kill you. Just be okay with it. It's gonna happen. I don't know if I want to mess with any of this, to be completely honest. I, th I think we just... Well, one, we'll get the sticky nickel here. We do have an eternal heart. I don't know if we want any more red hearts. We also have duality, so we can get angel deals. Well, I say that, and then we can pick up another heart, but... Oh, okay. Well, now we have max speed. Um... Interesting. Interesting turn of events there. Did not expect all that, but I'm going to take max speed and two red hearts all day. <laughs> that was weird. I couldn't get that last spider. I couldn't. I also couldn't get over there, but we were damaging him anyway. I don't really know. If we were damaging them with uh, our bones or something, I don't know. That was kind of strange. Let's see what our item room is. Rerolls that rocks into another type. Let's see. Okay. Well, I guess we got a golden poop if we needed it. <laughs> um, all right. These chicks don't even know the name of my band. Oh, so satisfying when they're just lined up like that. actually donate some more and i'm thinking why not let's see what these items are to a club sure to a spade sure i'm thinking why not oh it because it broke after one cent that's why not might as well buy this might as well buy the key you know and uh 
I guess we could take... I mean, I guess we don't know if we got double item room yet. I think it's... The item room's probably already spawned in. This is probably the boss up here. Maybe not. Another eternal heart. Not worth a penny. But hey, we got a coin out of the... Or not worth a key for a penny. But we got a coin out of using the key. Okay. Well, let's just go get that shop appears on womb thing. Not that we're going to go seek out the shop. But if in our venture to get to the boss room, we find a shop, then that's cool. Thank you, Lost Fly. Luck up. I'd love to see it. That trinket was on this floor, right? Wait. Wait, was that trinket on this floor? We just left the key there? Wait, maybe it wasn't. Wait. I don't think it... Maybe it wasn't. Am I losing my mind? Interesting. I think I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I think I'm losing my mind. It must have been on the on the last floor. Did find our seeker room. Look at that. Doing our due diligence. Even no matter no matter where we're at. Okay, I could have swore that trinket was on this floor. Unless it was in the curse room? No. Actually, no, it wasn't. Duh. It was on the boss fight because we we got Cracker Jacks and then we took it. Yeah, that's dumb. I rolled the dice on a 50% chance at an item room, but it's, it, either way, it doesn't really matter. I can't even I can't even hit the mom's foot with the sack dagger. It just destroys all my bones and it moves the foot away. All right, we're going to try to get away, give give away our hearts here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the option for Angel Room and Devil Room is cool, but I, I do want to... Since we're picking up the Polaroid, obviously, I do want to give away our red hearts as fast as possible. If possible. So now we just need one more deal with the devil where we can give away one more red heart and then we're uh, in the Polaroid. And we also know that we can't really use Sack Dagger without sacrificing all of our bones of protection. Which I don't think is worth it. Especially when you have Brimstone. Ace of Diamonds. Definitely keep the hero font. We don't really need money. We found the boss very quickly. Joker's really good. Let's just go in here, use the Empress. And that was that. <laughs> we did not get a deal with the devil. We got a Halo. Uh, but I will use the Joker because we didn't get a deal with the devil. We can give away both of our hearts, which is cool. It's kind of the idea and what we wanted to do. I don't know. Oh, it's done. We got Lil Delirium, and we also got um, Missing Page. And then the, the Halo also, which is great. We have the hero font so we can get back to full HP. I mean, that's dumb. Use it. Get the soul hearts. Didn't get that bomb somehow. Also don't want to use the Book of the Dead on a room where I kill one enemy, which I've uh, done before in the past. I'd like to not do that. Definitely going to use it on this room, though. Look at that. Look at that army. Do -do 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 -do. 
but yeah let me know if that like all the new players out there let me know if that trick works when you enter a room focus on your player focus on dodging and just blind fire just let me know if that works i think it will if you heed the advice i think it'll help Okay, okay. I'm getting a bunch of drops now because they're doubled up because of the uh, missing page, contract from below, whatever it may be. Always get those two confused. But we have both of them. I hate that noise. Okay. That's gonna be a lot of bone fragments. Skirt! Gotta be fast, gotta be fast. I mean, we might as well take the cartridge considering uh, the item room thing is useless because we don't have any more item rooms. We could get that sticky nickel with a bomb. Don't really know what money's doing for us right now. Chocolate milk brimstone is, is probably fine, right? I don't know. It made, it's sped up our brimstone for sure. Has it made it a lot weaker? Eh, I don't know. Like a nice fast brimstone though. Oh no, dude. Don't spawn the bombs anymore, man. They hurt you, man. Two of hearts, emperor. Ooh, an emperor? Is that bold? <laughs> I like the emperor. Okay. Let's see if we get some soul hearts. Oh, or small rock. That's also fine. Okay. We can definitely Emperor on the Cathedral. Get to the chest as soon as possible. We have 34 keys, so we definitely have more than enough. All these fights would be going way quicker if I got in there and used my Sack Dagger. Again, it'll melt all our bones away. And, um... Hmm. This is not the best... I mean, I really don't even care for that item. I guess we could fight the angel for fun. Really no other reason but for fun. I mean, we can get the key, but the chances of us getting another uh, deal with the angel is pretty low. Um, Delirious. I mean, we just never have it, and we've used Book of the Dead so much that I guess, sure. I guess, sure, we'll use it. I'm not going to do Hush again. I don't think this build would kill Hush that quickly, to be honest. Um. All right, let's just Emperor, and then let's use the, the little Delirious here. Who'd it spawn? Who'd it spawn? It's supposed to spawn a delirium version of a boss and that fights for you. <laughs> I am so dumb. Did it spawn that little rotten baby? No. Is that what it does? No, that's a little delirium. Where the hell is my boss, friend? Maybe you can't do it on the Isaac fight? Why is the room the womb? Well, I guess because of the delirium effect. I don't know. That item is supposed to work. I've had it work before. I, I don't know why it didn't. Super strange, but okay. Easy clickbait thumbnail that I would not do to you guys, but I could have put Isaac, the Isaac fight in the womb and said, I fought Isaac on the womb, which wouldn't be not true, but it would be a little not true. You know what I mean?
the Fool, the Empress, Wheel of Fortune. We'll take Teleport 2.0. We also have uh, homing, homing brim now, homing chocolate brimstone. We got mapping because of the mind. Thought that guy was dead, to be honest. <laughs> that little delirious, whatever, delirium, delirious item. So many charges, and that the fact that it didn't even work there is so ridiculous. Might be dumb to use the golden teleport now. I think there's a way to break the game. I just don't know if I feel like doing that, but basically I think you can get to the void. Not necessarily break the game, but you can get to the void and, and do another four items with uh, the golden teleporter. I think you have to full explore the map, and then once you full explore the map, uh, you teleport to the void. I'm pretty or the uh, yeah the void? No, the error room. Sorry, not the void. Got delirium on my mind. Samson's ball and chain's actually amazing for Blue Baby and Isaac, as you can see. Look at this. It's amazing. You just stand behind it. Samson's ball and chain's definitely one of the more underrated items. I mean, it works for... It works for the, uh... It lives fight as well. There you go. Let's get in there with the sack dagger. Take some damage. End the fight. All right. No delirium. You've let me down. You didn't come to fight for me. I will not go and fight you. That's going to do it. A 13 win streak. Lucky number 13. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a quick one for sure. It was a quick one, but a fun one nonetheless. We had brimstone, so it was pretty much a wrap. And uh, everything on top of it was just gravy, baby. A win is a win. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Crack 300 likes in the first 24 hours, and you get another Isaac tomorrow. Check out the video on the top left. That is a recommended video YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Bottom left is going to be the Patreon to support me and keep doing the YouTube videos for you guys. Shout out to everybody on the right side of the page that has supported me over on Patreon. And hit the W to subscribe. Turn on the notifications. And uh, yeah, until next time, stay safe, stay up, and peace out.